Hi, Nabel here. I'd like to talk about how to install the APA Safari Lite Aero Rest. So this is uh, a full containment stationary rest. It doesn't drop out of the way like our twister does, but it works great for somebody who wants simple, non-moving full containment Aero Rest. And you know, it's great, especially like for bows like the Rattler, where you want to keep everything nice and light and simple. Uh, so I'm going to put one on this Rattler and show you how it's uh, how it installs. So I'm just going to take it out of the box here. Okay. So you have, in the package, you'll find your main bracket and set screw and a uh, stainless steel washer. Okay. So what you want to do, I'm going to put this on the opposite side, but the basically your bolt goes through the main bracket and it's going to screw onto the riser. Now, your height adjustment on this arrow rest will be done by simply sliding this rest up and down on this, the main lock screw, okay? So I'm going to bolt that on first. Now that will require a 3 16 Allen wrench. Now on the side of your bow, on this side, you don't see it, but we have a machined line that goes across the riser and it lets you know if your bracket's sitting nice and square to the bow, okay? So you look at that machined line on this side and you line it up with your rest, make sure it's running parallel so that way you know your bracket's sitting square. All right, so now I'm gonna put it basically in halfway in its range for now, for up and down, and just lightly tighten it. And then you have your the actual cradle that goes in. Now this will work both for left hand or right hand, this rest. It's got a machined flat edge on the back. So when you insert it into the hole here, okay, and you tighten your windage screw, it'll automatically adjust itself to the correct angle once you tighten that screw for where it needs to sit. You just sit approximately about a 45 degree angle, all right? So, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab this arrow, put that in there for now. And again, the cock feather needs to be positioned down. Okay, so I'm gonna move that to get uh, your center shot. I'm gonna get that maybe first. And to achieve that, I'm just gonna put another arrow on the side of the riser here, and then line them up so they're both parallel to each other, okay? So this has to come out with a little bit. Okay, now that I have them in line, now I got my windage set where I want it. I will then go ahead and tighten the lock screw. If you notice when I tighten it, see how it, just make sure it sits on the flat spot and it'll just lock in, it will not move, it will not rotate on you by accident because that screw will contact that flat edge on your shaft here, okay? So then I just look at it from a side view, make sure it's sitting square, if it's not, uh, you can just simply loosen your main bolt here and you can shift the rest up and down as needed to get your arrow sitting square to the string. And then once you got it all in place, you just tighten it down. Okay. And in the rest, you will receive some extra fleece that is used on the cradle. Eventually, once they wear out, you just peel the bottom section off and replace it. And sometimes it's nice on this one here, you don't have to worry about putting any fleece on the bottom because the arrow only goes down that far, but sometimes it could contact just that little spot here if you, you know, say you're hunting or something and you don't want any extra noise. So I just take a piece of fleece and I'll stick that right on the side here like that. That way it's nice and quiet, you don't hear anything if you're in a hunting situation. Um, and like I said, make sure you position your cock feather down. And this one's designed so when you shoot through it, it will just simply slide right through with no contact. And that's how it's done.